is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to um, make a, a tag book and so how about we get right to it. So I already started decorating a few tags because I didn't want you to sit through the process of me decorating six tags. We would be here for a few hours. <laughs> it takes me a while. I don't know. I have to pick and choose every little piece. You know, we're all the same. We want it to be just so. Um, but I did leave myself one to decorate with you. And then I'll show you how to put them all together. So let me pause this while I turn on the other light. I'm realizing I forgot to turn on the box light. Okay, and I'm back. So I turned on the box light a little brighter now. Um, as you can see, I got myself a beautiful tabletop, brand new. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> the other one was very, very dirty. Um, it's kind of impossible to clean. I uh, will probably just paint it white, make it look rustic. It's going to be beautiful. That way, when this one gets dirty, I'll switch to the other one. <laughs> so I started... Um, so first let me tell you so you need tags obviously this is going to be a book made of tags like a little journal made of tags only uh, in this case I only uh, made six but you could really put more um, I just thought six was enough I don't think this is glued thoroughly so let me just add some glue so yes <clears throat> you need tags that are, are double this way right because first we leave them open but we're going to need this opening to bind them together so i will decorate this one with you if you don't want to stay for the decorating part that's fine you can fast forward i'm not sure um if youtube does it for me i think it does because i don't i don't recall doing it but i think it it, ha it makes chapters or at least in one of my older older videos i saw that youtube made chapters which i mean by all means because i sure don't know how <laughs> um i'm just looking for a sticker to put on this i put this beautiful i don't know if you can see there's writing on it but it's very very light and it's translucent and i thought it was really nice i'm just looking for something that i would like to see on top of that oh that's not bad but this is longer than what i have underneath um hmm okay so i found this one this will fit right here this one i like it <clears throat> so i will choose this one i hope you are all doing well you Probably most of you decorated for Christmas already or the holidays, I should say. Not everybody celebrates Christmas per se. Some of you celebrate different holidays. I want to be inclusive. I just like all the lights and the joy that comes with it and the way people tend to think a little bit more about others. I mean... It should be all year round, but you know, we are all sometimes tired and busy and we have our own lives getting in the way and, you know, but I just like that at Christmas, at least it gives us a tiny bit of time to really, because I think most of us want to think of others and want to be more helpful. And like I said, it's not because we don't want to. We're all very busy and thank goodness at least on certain occasions like Christmas or the holidays and other periods of the year as well. Um, we get to do that. We get to show that we, we do care. You know? Let me find... Okay, no, I can do this. There you go. Yeah, I'm all decorated. We are having the worst luck ever for our house lights. I mean, this is becoming ridiculous. This is three years in a row where <clears throat> we put uh, lights in front of the house, like along, you know, where the gutters are. And they're beautiful, different. Now, <laughs> we, we try different types. Sometimes they're pieces plugged together and sometimes it's all one long, you know, set of lights. Still, 
doesn't matter what we do, how we try, they burn in the middle. There's no reason. We even asked a, an electrician we know. Is there something we are not aware of? Is it like, I don't know, amperage on something? Like, help us. <laughs> and his answer was, no, you're just very unlucky. And I'm thinking, how is that possible? They burn at the same exact place, pretty much. Or it's always like a middle section. So it depends where the middle section is on that year. And this year, it was... <clears throat> Um, lights from one long set and the year before it was again uh, a long, one long set but different types of lights and the year before that it was I think two sets or three sets two sh uh, yeah three shorter sets and the one in the middle burned out it's like oh my goodness seriously what is it with us and lights <laughs> they want us in the dark <laughs> yep so Again, so now I had to turn them off because, like, I have lights everywhere else, but the ones that are um, supposed to be on the gutter, I turned those off because then it just looks strange. I left all the other ones. I have lights on the trees, the bushes, the railings. I have my reindeers in the front, you know. But still, it was nice to have them on the the gutters and... Yeah, I think my husband is going to give up next year. No more gutter lights because after three years and spending money for nothing, I mean, we'll try and return those, but it won't be before, you know, the holidays are over because I can't climb up there. And for those of you who don't know, my husband works away. So right now he's in the Arctic. <laughs> And I'm not climbing that roof. <laughs> no way. No way. Okay, now I'm trying to find a nice little stamp, but I don't want to repeat whatever I've done here. Let me just look quickly. I'll show you the tags after. I just want to, uh, to get with it, you know? Did I put one here? Mm. Okay, okay. I just see one here that I haven't used, it seems. Oh, uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, I'm not climbing that that roof. I have enough to do. <laughs> okay. Let's put this here. And let's add... Whoops. Let's add some a butterfly. Oh, let me see which one. They are very beautiful. Ooh, this one. Um, I, I will, again, put my um, my coupon code if you want to purchase anything you see here from Taperlogy. Um, it's 15% off, so why not? I said it in the last few videos. I The only reason I'm repeating is because not everybody has seen the other videos. So I apologize for those of you <clears throat> who have been hearing about this code saying, Oh my goodness, is she going to let it go? Yes, I will. I promise. <laughs> I'm just doing it because, you know, if all 3,000 of you or so or 2,000 some hundred, I don't know, of you <clears throat> watched the videos every every time... I wouldn't repeat it, but I know that some of you watch this video, some of you watch the other video, some of you watch all of them. It depends. So I'm just repeating it for now. And because it, it is a great special. <clears throat> there you go. Now, isn't that nice? I really like it. I'm going to do the other side, and then we'll go on with the... Um, the binding so I'm just trying to see in my I have specialty papers oh I have to show you something after oh my goodness I hope you don't mind you're gonna it's really it's really really lovely oh my goodness this paper this specialty paper this one particularly feels and looks exactly like a dryer sheet but it doesn't smell like bounce, so maybe it's pre-scented. It's before they're scented. <laughs> I've used this one. I'll show you. It's on a, I used it on a tag. I've used this one as well. 
I haven't used this one. This I think I'm going to leave as well. Usually, like, I like... I, I'll tear them sometimes and I'll use them, you know, little bits and pieces. But this deserves to stay this way, I think. Okay, let me just find something. Yeah, this one too. This is too white. Um, what do I want, really? First, I have to look at this. Okay. This looks nice. Or... Uh, too shiny. Um, no. Oh, I like this one better, I think. Oh, and this one with flowers and, and leaves in it. Mulberry paper. Ah, uh, hold on. No, I like this. So let's tear a tiny bit. There. Perfect. And then I will add... Hmm. Um. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. I don't, I don't want to tear it. Uh, I want to add something for texture, so. Um, maybe a piece of fabric. Let me put this away. I have also this coffee stain paper, but. No, I think fabric. Fabric, fabric. What kind? Um, maybe a piece of this. Let me tear some here. Okay. So what if I do something like this? Like that? Maybe stamp something here. Maybe something there. Yes, yes, yes. We're going somewhere. Okay, I'm going to cut the, extra, the excess like so and I'm gonna start by gluing this part where is my glue okay <clears throat> so I have started some alcohol ink um, paintings I'm I'm extremely new and I was wondering if you would like to see that I've asked before at the in the community tab if I should start like in a second channel if you will I mean it would still be you know the prank cat studio but it would be like just paintings like I wouldn't do anything else on that channel and I would put all everything that has to do with painting whether it's acrylics watercolor or in this case um, um, well, alcohol inks because I just started that because and here's I'm unsure what I'm going to do that being said I'm just throwing it out there and my beautiful viewers who comment many times um, often on my videos please feel free to tell me how you feel about this <clears throat> because when I post something different than journaling and crafting in you know in that field I feel many of you don't really like it because what you want to watch is crafting videos and that's okay i i am totally okay with that because that's how you you got to know me um and you know i i understand i get it um so i always think because when i do i think when i do art journaling or a little spread in the journal you know or any journal you're okay with that because it does come into the whole world of journals in general art journaling junk journaling you know journaling in general so i think you don't mind that but i'm not certain about how you feel when it's painting because then it's a whole i know some of you you know like to paint flowers in your journals and you might enjoy it um, you know watching somebody else paint, but I'm not certain you all enjoy it and I Don't know if it's not something you want I'd rather you tell me and what stem did I use here? Oh um, That's the one I'm grabbing now. So let's see mm, I don't like this one. So yeah, if, if it's something you really just don't care for on this channel Just let me know. It's okay but if you feel it's something you, you would like, 
also let me know. I, I mean, I might decide either way, no matter what, but it would be fun to get the pulse. Um, I did get it the first time. I think most of you said you would like to have it on the same channel. But maybe it's because you thought you'd have to try and find me. I would make sure that it's obvious that it's me just somewhere else, right? I would make sure that it's probably called the Purring Cat Studio Paints or Painting or, you know, something very obvious. Um, I'm trying to see what I want there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about these. Um, maybe something with some color. Oh, look at those black and white. <gasps> oh, my goodness. They're lovely. I don't know if we would see them. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, maybe just this one there. <coughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I keep, tap, you know, like being so proud of myself because I haven't caught whatever the whole school got so far um, I just hope I didn't congratulate myself too early because I seem to have a little something <laughs> might be just a little I don't know don't want to think about it I can't be sick I have no time <laughs> okay how about this oh it's so lovely yes I love it okay um, where did I put that popsicle stick although I have more but okay there it is so yeah let me know because I don't know like I said I might still do a second channel or I might just keep it on this channel <clears throat> I'll see I just like to branch out you know diversify and not be stuck in a box uh, my logo does say the Purring Cat Studio journals art and learning together. And you're very far. I'm sorry. I never even thought of this. <clears throat> and I would like to think, I'm very sorry for the throat clearing. It's just sometimes I don't have the time to, you know, get my hand and pause. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I don't want to be stuck in one box. I am an artist like many of you. Like I said many times before, we all do other stuff. And I like to do other things. Usually my things are this or painting. And of course, painting, I like to try different mediums because, you know, ooh, the shiny colors. Of course I got to try. <laughs> so, um, yeah. You know, it does say art, like journals, art, and learning together because art and we like to try new things I just got myself a cricket joy I'm not sure it was a good okay this is not working for some reason maybe because I have like a layer and it's it's lower and higher and lower again I don't know I'll have to press harder yeah I'm not sure I made a good choice I'm sorry for who loved the cricket joy maybe it's because I didn't get the right one had I known, I would have gotten a bigger one. I'm trying to figure things out, but somehow, right now, I'm a little frust not frustrated. Maybe that's a harsh word. I'm not sure which word to use in English, but I'm not impressed. Let's just say. Um, I find it very... Okay, this, I really... I'm going to try and press... Usually, these come off easily. You've seen me do these many times. It's just, I think it's because the different types of layers underneath they're not even so um yeah so so far i'm a little underwhelmed i think you say or unimpressed whatever <clears throat> because it seems to me first of all that there's not a whole lot of free stuff if you want the nice things you have to you know buy the um subscription let's subscription and I say no I, I really no just no <laughs> uh, that's not what I thought but I know many of you just love 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 it but had I known I would have gotten the bigger one because my goal with the with this and I, I must have misread you know I know I speak English <clears throat> and 
but sometimes if I go fast, I can miss a few key words or sentences and maybe I was not concentrated enough, but I realized that you can't print and cut. You can, I, you know, I realize there's hacks to it, but it's a lot of work. And for some reason, I did the hacks for printing and cutting. And the first two images were beautifully cut, perfect. And the two other ones were side, like moved. So it wasn't cut properly. So that's a waste. And I don't know why. I feel like had I gotten a bigger one, I wanted to design things, cut them and make little packages with um, die cuts for you, right? To, to put on my Etsy shop because die cuts are expensive. And I thought, well, if I can make them at a, at a decent price and things I created myself, then why not? It would be really, really fun, but it didn't work that way. So anyways, that was my cricket story. I'm still like, I just got it. So I'll, I'll just, you know, I didn't buy it to do, um, any vinyls it's not my thing I bought it to um, well for the thing I can't do it seems <laughs> for print and cut I mean you can go around it but like I said it's a lot of work so we shall see we shall see back to our project right here so that was my chit chat while I finished uh, while I finished this tag oops sorry about the noise I just dropped the glue here okay um gonna back up a tiny bit so first you have to see which you know what this is this glued to that no okay um, which tags go on this side and which tags go on that side so let's say I want to start my journal with let's say I want to start it with this that's really nice okay so this would be my first one, let's say. And then how about this one for the second tag? It has, so I'll show you, it has a pocket right here. And just a little flip out right here with some decorations. And there you go. So this would be my second one. And the third one could be this one. There you go. So the opening for these ones is on this side now for the other side the opening will be on this side oops the opening will be on this side oh yeah I remember I put some glue just to work on it okay it will be on this side so this would be so when you have your journal you'll be flipping like this one page two page three page and then four so this is the opening right here so this would look nice like that and then this would be the reverse so I think this is good so this like that and yes I like it so these three the opening will be so the openings if you will are facing each other because what you need to do is and you do need a sewing machine but you can certainly go around a sewing machine I am sure and I will tell you why so what I've done is I took three pieces of fabric like so and you sew in the middle so <clears throat> if you don't have a sewing machine you can certainly hand stitch in the middle it's not too long to do so you don't need a sewing machine you can hand stitch it all and then I will sew each of these tags on each side of each layer okay and if you don't have a sewing machine for that part you can certainly use maybe fabric tack would glue very well the fabric to the cardstock okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you so remember we I decided that this would be my front the front of my but I'm kind of changing my mind hold on I do like this I do like that too hmm 
I like it all. <laughs> I think this is really nice to begin with. I don't know. I like them all. Oh, that's my cat meowing. She wants out. Let me think of something. Okay, so I changed my mind. I decided that this one we just did together. I want it to be the front. I just really love it. So that's going to be my my the front. So if this is going to be my front, and all my openings are on the right, on the right, and wait now. Oh, hold on. I'm confusing myself. Okay, well, I'm confusing myself, so let's just do it. <laughs> I don't think it matters much. I like all my tags. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made them this way. So you are going to slip the first layer inside the opening. I, this is already tied because I did, you know, want to stitch this, but it, like I, you can see, I can, that doesn't stop me from anything else, right? So I will go to the machine. Of course, I will move this and I will sew this first, this first tag right here. And then, of course, I will choose another and sew it. That's why you decorate both sides, right? Because it will just be like pages that you flip. So I will go do this first one and I'll come right back. Okay, so I will show you what I've done so far. Maybe it'll be clearer. I'm not super great sometimes at, at explaining. So I've sewed these two. So it makes them be like they're closed now because they're sewn together. And so now I have to sew one here and one there and then another one here and another one there. Now the only thing also try and remember that you want this to be easy to flip. So the next one that I put in, let's say it's this one. Um, if I put it, let me see, if I put it too close, it might get a little tough. So I just leave a tiny, like I see this was my middle. Do you see this? I left a tiny bit of space. I'm going to do the same here. Just a tiny bit of space. Don't put it too, too close because it's going to, it's going to be a little harder to fold if you do that, okay? So let me back up. And so I will go ahead and sew the others and I'll come back and show you thoroughly. Okay, so there it is. So it seems the front will be this one. Now I will add some eyelets. I will do that as well, but I just wanted to show you. So this, see how easily it, it it's just like tab binding, except they're sewed in. See? Now I couldn't do that on a big journal um, just because it would get really thick and then the foot I think you call of the where the needle is I don't know I don't think it would work but maybe it would I don't know look at that so I made a little pocket here a side tuck I should say a little flip like so nice little pocket right here with a tag to write whatever you want in the back and this one and we finish with this one now I will go ahead and let me see though do I want to put eyelets on all of them no I like the idea of a ribbon like so or a piece of fabric with a stamp I love it um, I didn't put a stamp here I could also I have all these beautiful uh, pieces of fabrics. I get them at Michael's. Um, they're just a bunch. They're 50 pieces and it's tim, uh, trim bundles. I think it's amazing. It gives you a lot of choice. I've, I've purchased these before. And oh my goodness, look at that. It wouldn't fit the look of this, but actually it might. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. Um, hmm. Now I'm, I really, I really do like this though. But what I mean is you could also find your middle again, like so. And you could, this is too thick. Maybe this, you can go like this and tie 
like so. Mm, that would be nice. I'm like saying it or doing it as I'm speaking with you. So why not just do it? We'll get scissors here. There we go. Oh, and there's also this beautiful little envelope I want to add. I showed this in a YouTube short. It's so cute, so easy. Oops, sorry. So cute and so easy. Um, go see the YouTube shorts right now. I don't have too many videos, so it's easy for you to, to go ahead and check. But I might just link it. And look at this. So this little fold at the end serves as your closure. Okay. I decorated both sides. But if you don't decorate this part, this you can actually just glue on your page. Okay. And then the person can open it. And, oops, sorry, sorry, the person can open it, as I was saying, and journal in there. They could journal everywhere. I just put a little piece of paper here, but you can journal all around this. And then you close it again, like so. And voila. So if the back was glued, you don't have to move anything, right? You don't have to do anything. See, it's not moving and everything's opening. I just decided to decorate the back and it's so cute I didn't want to glue it so I will uh, just insert it in my journal but first I will do this here because I think this is really cute oh I didn't think I should have made it this longer because I could have left a longer piece and then have it wrapped around or we'll just add another ribbon something else something yeah why not because had i put it longer it could then go around actually it actually still can and just make a loose knot but i would have preferred a, a bow hmm yeah i don't know maybe i'll leave it this way for now because i think i would like this to be permanent in the middle i think it's cute i don't know yeah, I like it like that. Maybe I'll just add something else or just leave it like that. Hmm. Oh, wait now. What am I saying? It doesn't prevent anything. Let me take this off. Sometimes I tell you. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if you're still with me or some of you said, okay, I've had enough. Ooh. <gasps> oh, look at that. Would it look good as a... A wrap let's see oh yes okay there's the winner so this time I won't cut it before I'm sure of the length <laughs> let me back up you a little close okay so while I do this if you're still with me let me tell you a short story which is really strange we were ordering food and my son said oh I'm gonna get the uh, scallop pasta carbonara whatever it is and I thought, how do you know if you're going to like it? He said, well, I've had it before. I said, really? I said, I've never had it. I don't even know what it is. Is it veal? Oh, my goodness. People, ladies, I here, just before, I'm going to stop myself. See, you make a double knot so it, it will always be there. And then you use this to close it. Ooh. So, yeah, I said, is it veal? Because in French, escalope. It's an escalope de veau, a veal cut something. I don't know how you say it in English. So in my head, scallop sounded like escalope, although he was speaking English to me, so I don't know why I started thinking that. And for the longest, well, actually, until the meal got here, I kid you not, I could not associate the word scallop with what it was. It meant nothing. That word in my head meant nothing. I had no vision of what it could be. I couldn't see what it was. Anyways, it was really strange. It's like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I don't know this word anymore. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think this is nice, but any other ribbon would do. Um, and yes, I want to add this beautiful little envelope. I just need to, you know, decide where it's going to go. Why not here? 
This is a little crooked. I might unstitch it and restitch it because I went sideways and I remember when I, I was sewing, I said, uh oh, but that's easy. I'll just undo it and restitch it. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep it this way. But just so you know, it will be restitched properly. There. Isn't that pretty? Or even this way. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Yes. This is really cute. And of course, I will put some pieces of fabric or eyelets on some of them with beautiful ribbons. And there you have it. You have a nice little tag journal. Easy to flip. Very nice and chunky. And I only added a few um, pockets here and there like here and the flip out and where's the other one yeah the pocket here but you of course can add little pockets and corner tucks to any of them or all of them I just wanted to keep it simple for this first one this is the first one I ever make and um, I really like it I, I like it just like that because it's fun to turn pages of something beautiful plus you know you can just attach whatever uh, ephemera or papers you decide to use to write stories on or uh, journal in and you can attach your pages with well that's a big close-up with these <laughs> or um, you know you can write with a nice bl uh, you know black pen you can certainly write little words here and there absolutely so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short, I hope, short video, 30 some minutes, not too bad. <laughs> and uh, I hope this gives you an idea to make your own. I thought this was really lovely. I wish I could tell you the original video. I feel so, so bad. I don't remember the name and I didn't keep it in my saved or view for later uh, because then I can, I could go and, and see the, the name of the lady that showed me how to do this. But yeah, I um, unfortunately I forgot. I really, I really apologize. Um, if I find it, I'll put it, of course. So there it is. That is very easy, a lot of fun to do. And again, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can hand stitch the middle and then glue your um, your tags on the fabric with you know whatever glue you use that works well with cardstock and fabric. So there it is. I will leave you on this. I will go and correct this one because it bothers me. I will go finish my eyelets and ribbons and such. And I hope to see you soon. I want to say I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia, Canada. I hope you're all happy, healthy, and safe. And uh, don't forget to reply to my question. I want to know if you'd rather... I make a subdivision like another channel, still the purring cat, but paintings alone. Or if you want me to keep putting them on this channel. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> bye bye.